Hello YouTube, Facebook. Today I want to show you a mystery, you know. You know, it's and you know, you want to find out about the mysteries of God that it's not really complicated. It's not that, you know, really complicated. It's quite simple, you know. You just have to question correctly. You have to ask correct questions, you know, with divine understanding, you know. But, you know, the thing is, uh, I'm going to show you Mystery Babylon. Now, this should be simple, you know. I shouldn't have to show you this. It's, it's just too simple. But, you know, when you, I guess, in the lust of darkness, you know, or the lust of lies that lead, have you in darkness, if you don't know Mystery Babylon is, wow. But I'm finna reveal it, and I'm gonna help you figure her out, you know. But, you know, the thing about, if you read, you know, Revelations 12 and 18, you know, it, you, really, you you should be, you know, first of all, she's, I'm gonna show you, first of all, she's a woman. Hmm, she's a woman. Okay, She's a woman with great power and great influence. It's, I mean, just a woman. This is a powerful woman. Now, if you do your study on, you know, uh, you know, history, you will notice that, you know, of course, uh, when you talk about the gods and goddesses, you know what I'm saying, and you hear about, you know, what God all through he, Judaism and Christianity talks about do not worship other gods and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing how many times that says that, you know, in, in you know, the Old Testament, New Testament. But somehow people find their way worshiping gods and goddesses. Mm. But the thing is, you know, uh, the thing is, you okay, this woman is a powerful woman. Now, let's look at the United States right now. You know, hmm, United States is a pretty powerful country, you know, powerful, influential country, you know. And the thing, you know, you look at, you know, the, the, how, how much success this country has than other countries that exist all through human history. You know, you have to think, wow, you know, this... Something about this country is very powerful, you know, that influence. We have the United Nations. All the nations, you know, gather in New York City to talk about the affairs of the earth. You know, and it's like, okay, hmm, where's the United Nations at? Hmm, that talks about all the affairs of the earth, world, because this woman, this whore, is, you know, you know, affecting the earth, the world. Ah, oh, New York. Mm, New York. Yes, it's the places in New York City. That do, wait a minute. There's a statue in New York City. Oh, and it's a statue of a woman that, you know, that looks like she has a scarlet dress. Mm. Wait a minute. She's holding a light, a torch. You know, with she has crowns on her head. Mm. Crowns, don't say that crowns symbolic authority. You know, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. That could be her. Now you say, well, Mac, oh, come on. That's, that's absurd, Mac. You talking a bunch of hogwash. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no way she, it could be her. That's Lady Liberty. She's supposed to bring us liberty. You know, it's the symbol of liberty that the freedom of Americans can, you know, be live in a, a world that, you know, they have the freedom to have a house and speech and all that other stuff. You know, they give me the, you know, speech. And I'm like, hmm, okay. Well, you know, here's an ideal that, you know, I think if you, if you just research and find out, you know, have you ever, what is the only, now, this woman, yeah, let's go back to the scriptures. This woman, uh, she's a whore. <laughs> they said this woman is a whore. And you think, well, 
she's a whore. And now, now, wait a minute. You know, Lady Liberty is in New York City, you know. She's, you know, that that doesn't talk about, you know, whore, uh, idea of whore, you know, there. It's like, you know, yep, you're right. It doesn't talk about an idea. A horror, maybe a spiritual one, or probably is a spiritual one, but horror, horror stuff. But you know, what about you know? Hmm. What is the only city that you can is illegal for prostitution to happen? It's legal for prostitution. You can, you know, prostitute you know women there. What's the only city that can allow that to happen? Las Vegas. Oh, what's the nickname of Las Vegas? Mm. Sin City. Oh, Sin City. Interesting. Mm. Interesting place to, you know, have sin and, you know, you know, have prostitution legal and have a, whoa, a statue of a ideal replica of the Lady Liberty there? Wait a minute. Oh, what is going on here? What is a statue of Lady Liberty, you know, replica of Lady Liberty, doing in Sin City where it's legal to have prostitution there? Hmm. Could this be? Why? Well, I guess you go ask people the question what is you know Lady Liberty replica statue of Lady Liberty is doing in uh, Sin City Las Vegas is they like undercover worshipping Lady Liberty with sin and prostitution hmm hey that pattern looks familiar all through history that God's you know worship you know, statues and do all kind of sinful activities in front of them. That happens in the human history that the, this practice has been going on for quite a long time. Hmm. But, wow, they put a replica of Lady Liberty in Sin City. Could she be the whore? Hmm. Well... Is United States is one of the most powerful, influential countries in the world? Hmm. On, hmm. And you go to Washington, D.C. and discover District of Columbia, and Columbia is the goddess of liberty. Hmm. But like I did a teaching one time, liberty to do what? Hmm. Liberty to... Freedom of speech, liberty to have a country and a nation that, you know, you know, that people's freedom to express themselves or freedom to have sin and do what you want to do. Kind of like the idea of Las Vegas. Hmm. Well, the thing is, you just simply investigate the situation and you will find an answer. It should be that simple. But guess what? I want you to go check it out for yourself and find out where this whore at. Because the Bible says this whore will be destroyed. Mm, that's what it says. It says this whore shall fall. And, you know, the thing is, when this whore falls, I don't think you want to be really a part of her falling. All right. I refuse. Here's a mystery. That, you know, you can see if I'm lying or, you know, or something or telling the truth to for you to go investigate, you know, and find out the truth of what's going on in this country or this world we're living in. All right. To God be the glory to him forever and ever in Jesus name. Amen.